So we're going to start on our backs today, guys. So if you would like, let me give you an option to take your blocks and put them on the lowest setting. So my, my instructor that I studied with for my 200 hour first training, we have Los Angeles, Chicago, New York. <laughs> so put it on LA. <laughs> Put them side by side. Come onto your back. And let's just place our feet on the blocks. Nothing fancy, nothing crazy. Put feet on the blocks. Back on the floor. Maybe you want to put a blanket across your entire body or just across your chest. Let's feel and begin to connect with the present moment on a more intentional level. Begin to feel our connection with Mother Earth. Maybe you notice that the knees want to fall together and that's fine. Just let your body kind of fall into some effortlessness. Let's begin a three-part breath, breathing into the stomach, the chest, and the low throat, and exhale. Fill the stomach, the chest, the low throat, and exhale. Fill the stomach, the chest, the low throat, and then let the breath go. And then exhale. And now as we Continue with our feet on the blocks, perhaps moving into a couple rounds of ujjayi breathing in and out the nose with a slight, kind of like that ocean breath or the snore sound, the exact sound that Tank is making right now. Just a slight audible breath. You can either let go of your ujjayi breath, or maybe you just naturally continue with it. Let's place a hand on our heart and a hand on our stomach. Kind of symbolizing the bridging of the lower chakras and the higher chakras, the heart as a bridge. Gonna balance our connection to the divine, our connection to unconditional compassion, unconditional love. Just joining that with the more primitive survival aspects of our being that are important for surviving and living as well as our divine aspect. connecting our energies. So with that left foot on the block, we can release our hands to the side. And let's just draw that right knee kind of into the chest and then back to the block. Draw the knee into the chest to place it back on the block. One more time, the right knee into the chest then place it on the block. And now bring the left knee into the chest. Place it on the block. 
Draw it in. Exhale, place it on the block. Inhale, draw the knee into the chest. Inhale, place the left butt back on the block. And now from there, lift that pelvis so it's the entire low back is flat on the ground. And now press both feet into the blocks and just lift the pelvis up just a little off the ground. Maybe notice the glutes engage and then lower down. Press the feet into the blocks, lift the glutes, the hips lift, now lower down. Inhale, lift, lower. Now hug both knees into the chest, rock side to side. Yeah. Now let's lower the feet back down to the blocks, bring the blocks close together with the toes, kind of scoot the blocks together. And if it feels okay, place the soles of your feet on the blocks, soles of your feet together. So now we're in butterfly, but our legs, are, our feet are on the blocks. Six bones on the ground, the heels and the feet are on the blocks lifted. We'll be here for five breaths. Again, maybe we place a hand on the low belly and a hand on the heart. Allowing the subtle wisdom of the body to move freely. Breathing in and out. Now let's exhale, bring the knees to the sky. The feet come onto the blocks for just a breath, breathe in. And now exhale, kind of push those blocks away with the feet. Now bring the feet to the floor. And feel that sensation of feet on the floor. Let's press the feet down. You can bring the hands to the side body. Lift the hips and lower. Lift the hips and lower. Let's lift and hold the hips just a little bit. We're not lifting all the way, just a little. Now lower down. And now knees come to the side, soles of the feet come together. And we feel ourselves on the ground. Breathe in. And breathe out. Now bring the feet up down to the floor. Let's roll over onto one side and then press up, coming into a seated position. And in our seated position, we're gonna bring the soles of our feet together again. So now we're in our seated butterfly. In our seated butterfly, we can either bring the feet really far away from the body or they can be closer into the body. And now an option, Wherever the feet are, bring the blocks underneath the knees. With those blocks under the knees, shimmy those six bones so the six bones ground. Feel some support under the knees, and now let's hinge forward. Hands maybe come to the ankles or the feet, reaching the heart past the feet because we're extending through the spine and reaching forward. Just noticing. Maybe the inner thigh, the backs of the legs, maybe the hamstrings, breathing in and out. And we'll exhale, bring those shoulders over the hips. Now move those blocks out of the way. Let the knees come down wherever they land. Kind of come back between the chest and the heart, and then we'll exhale to fold it forward chest towards the feet or the hands. Perhaps noticing a different spot in the body without those blocks under the knees. Breathing in, breathe out. And now let's inhale, come back up, some shoulders over the hips. Now let's extend the legs long. You can bring the blocks up to the side. We're gonna use them for just a little bit. 
the legs are nice and long, you'll be finding the strap. And with our strap, place it around the balls of the feet. So the strap is along the feet, our hands are anywhere on that strap. We roll the shoulders back, find those six bones. And then with the strap, we're just gonna pull on the strap, which pulls our heart towards our toes now. It's a strong straight back, leaning forward at the waist, at the hips, heart reaching for the feet. And then maybe when we start to feel some sensation in the glutes or the back of the legs, maybe tucking chin. So our legs are out in front and our straps around our feet. We're gonna fold it forward. Maybe you begin to walk the hands further down that strap. The nice thing about the strap is we can just kind of hang up in the strap and it supports the back a little. And we're still getting that opening in the back of the leg. It's breathing, breathe in and out. Maybe just a gentle rock side to side and see how the backs of the legs respond. One more breath. Now let's exhale. Begin to bring the shoulders back over the hips. Let's place the strap out to the side. And now let's come up to a standing position. Maybe you come through Malasana on the way, kind of opening those hips a little bit. Maybe you come right up to stand. You stand nice and tall and ground through the feet. Those feet that were on the blocks earlier, now the feet are strong on the ground. Imagine the roots grounding through the soles of the feet down in the center of the earth. And then we'll reach the hands to the heavens and imagine those Spider-Man webs coming out of the fingertips to reach to the heavens. So let's connect heaven and earth, breathe in and out. Exhale, bring the knees folded forward, exhale. Inhale, flat back, hands come to the shins or the thighs, reach the crown of the head forward and exhale, fold. Inhale, step the feet back, coming into downward facing dog. Nice, guys. Now reach the heart from the thighs. With the hands grounded, maybe feel the fingertips strong on the mat. Maybe the heels come to the ground, maybe they don't. Let's breathe in. Exhale, look up at the hands, bring the left hand towards the middle of the mat so we can reach that right hand back towards the right knee, that left knee. So the right hand crosses over the body. Try to keep the hips in the middle. Breathe in. And now exhale, bring the right hand forward. You can glance up at the hands, bring the right hand in the middle, and then cross that left hand through to find Maybe the right calf or the right knee or the right thigh. The strong right arm, strong legs and our balance. Breathe in. Exhale. Now inhale to look up at the hands. Place that left hand down. The right hand comes wide. Now let's roll down to our knees and then sit back. Maybe we find the glutes on the heels and let's just sit back in our hero pose. Or maybe if you have a block handy, you sit on the block. And we'll just rise, lifting the arms. And we exhale, bring the hands down, maybe to the side, maybe they're on the quads. And we just lean back, feeling a little opening yeah, in the fronts of the legs. Maybe we're on a block or not, wherever you're at. Just kind of lean back. And now let's exhale, roll forward, find down and facing dog. Curl the toes under, exhale. Yeah, now ground through the fingers, ground through the feet, lift the right leg to sky, bend the knee. Now we're in three-legged dog. Let's bring some circles into the game here with our knee. And then bring that right foot down to the ground. Let's step our right foot forward. Ground that right foot. Find your block. Bring the block on the inside of the foot. Now inhale to twist. So we're coming into our Pavri to Parsokanasana. Right hand to sky, left hand on the block, breathe in. Exhale, sigh. Sweep the right hand down, bring it on the inside. So maybe we turn the block so the 
long edges parallel with the front. So both hands can rest on the block. Bring that right foot out to the side, which lower the knee. And then we have a little variation of lizard. Uttang Prisas, our right knee out, the left hip flexors really reaching for the ground as we sink the pelvis down. Hands can be on the block. Maybe you want to come onto your forearms. Maybe you bring your forearms to the block. One isn't better than the other. It's just a different sensation for the entire shape. Just some variations. Opening up the hips, opening up the hip flexors. One more breath. Now exhale, bring the foot to the floor, the knee comes in. Hands come to the blocks. Let's lift the chest with the heart. Bring that foot back into the middle and have some the hips back. With our block, we bring it on the right side of that leg and find our Ardha Hanumanasana. So the right leg is straight now. The right toes towards the chest, towards the face. We have the second block. We can bring that to the other side, bringing the leg with some blocks. And then we exhale, sink into our fold. Mm -hmm. Let's press up, just lifting the heart, lifting the chest, shoulders back and down. And then let's fold again, surrendering into our Ardhamanasana. Breathing in. And now exhale, lift the heart, lift the chest, drag that right knee back so the knees are side by side. Let's sit back on our heels again. Or we can sit down on a block. When we get down to either the glutes on the heels or the glutes on a block, let's rock back. We can have our hands behind us. As much as we want to open up the front of the legs and as much as is accessible, whether you're on a block or you're on your heels, Nice job, yeah, rock that head back. Deep breath in. Let's exhale, bring that chin to the chest, shoulders over the hips. Lift the hips off the heels, over the knees, move that block out of the way. Let's step everything forward to a forward fold. Exhale, Uttanasana. So coming right from the earth, up to stand, to fold it forward. Then the knees rising up. Tadasana, hands to the heart. Inhale. Exhale, folding forward, Uttanasana. Let's step it back to downward facing dog. Exhaling to get there. And now let's rock forward and then lower down from our plank pose. Let's be in plank for a breath. And then lower down, knees, chest, chin. Exhale, bend the elbows, lower the heart and the chin. The sits bones reach for the sky, the knees are grounded. And then inhale, lower down the belly, lifting the heart. The hands can hover, or maybe they're pasted to the earth as the heart lifts. Breathe in. Nice, exhale, press up and back, back to downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Now inhale, step the left foot up to the sky, and then bend that leg, and stack the hips and then make some circles with that left knee. Opening up the left hip now. And then step that leg forward, maybe between the hands, maybe part way, lower down the right knee. And now with your blocks, move your blocks forward. And then come into our variation of lizard. So left foot goes out to the side and drop that foot. And hand can come down onto the block, forearms or hands. Any way that feels right. And then the left pinky edge, maybe even go over as the sole, the foot beams towards the hands. And exhale. As we know, we sometimes keep some emotions in our hips so we can release those emotions as we have this mind, body, soul, spirit connection, those lower and upper chakras. 
letting go. Now exhale, bring that foot to the ground. Lift the hands off the block so the shoulders come up. Let's bring that foot in. And now we're gonna bring the hips back just a little bit to come back forward. And now we're gonna come into our Pagra de Par, so kind of So kind of mixing it up on this side a little bit. The left arm coming up now. Our gentle twist. And now I'll sweep that hand down. So we frame the foot. We bring that left, or bring a block in that left hand. And now send the hips back. Toes to the sky. The right knee can come under the left, or the right hip. Left toes to the sky. Exhale. As we loosen and tend to those muscles around the hips, like the hamstrings, the glutes, the low back, the quads. It allows for a little more movement in that area. So our emotions can flow, our ideas can flow. That creativity and that Svadhisthana chakra can move with a little less impediment. An invitation to be fluid like the water element that it is. Let's exhale to kind of bring the knee over the ankle. Maybe lifting the heart, lifting the chest, coming up out of our half splits, and then back down, straightening the front leg. Maybe bringing some awareness to a different part of the body this time. There might be an obvious physical aspect that we feel. Maybe bring some mind-body awareness to a less, less obvious sensation. Maybe notice something in the sacral area. Maybe in the throat or the back. Let's breathe in. Exhale to bring that left knee over the right, left ankle just enough to sweep the feet back. So our knees meet, so our knees are on the ground, they're side by side. Now sit back on the heels or back up some blocks, as many blocks as you need. And then we're gonna lean back. And either keep that chin to the chest if we keep the chin to the chest, it kind of compresses that thyroid, compresses our throat chakra, closing the eyes, or we can open and lean back. Opening the front of the chest with the head coming back. Let's exhale, chin to the chest, roll up all the way. Now move the blocks off the mat, walk the hands forward, 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 forward. Come into plank pose, Palakasana. So the feet, the heels reach for the back of the wall. They reach back behind us. The crown reaches forward. The hips lift. The wrists are over or underneath the shoulders. Let's breathe in. The belly is hugged in. Exhale and inhale. Now let's lower down the knees. Sit back in child's pose. Just one breath, guys. Inhale when you get those heels to the glute. Inhale. Exhale, roll up, curl the toes, find plank pose, Palakasana. Heels reach, hips lift, breathe in. Now exhale, set the right hand, or right foot between the hands. Now set the left foot between the hands, bend the knees, rise up to stand. Tadasana, hands to the heart. Now let's pivot our feet towards the long edge and then step the feet wide. So now we're in a wide-legged stance. Bring the arms out. Nice. And now just like we did earlier in a downward facing dog, we're gonna exhale the hinge. And now the right hand reaches for that left knee or the left shin, and the left arm reaches the sky. So we're crossing the body, allowing those hemispheres of the brain to join and work together. Breathe in. Now exhale, bend the knees, let's rise up. Inhale. Bend the knees slightly, exhale, the left hand to the right shin, the right arm reaches for sky. You can lower that chest as much as you want, so it's as deep as a fold as you'd like, or you can keep the heart lifted. One more breath in. Exhale, bend the knees slightly. 
Bring the hands to the middle and then roll the shoulders up so they come over the hips, shoulders are back, and arms come out to the side. Side, close the eyes. Breathing in and out. One more breath in. Now exhale, bring hands to the hips. Let's heel toe our feet together. And how in this spirit of opening hips and letting this um, lower chakra area meld with the, the upper chakras, let's ground to the left foot, bend the knee, turn that leg out. Open the hips, find a tree pose, the foot on the calf or maybe on the thigh. That grounding through the foot is that root chakra, the mulahara chakra. This hip opening is our svadhisthana chakra, that creativity, that fluidity. Keeping the core tight is our fire element of our manipura. And then any variation with the hands, connecting us with our true nature of spirit, the heart and our upper chakras. Deep breath in. Exhale. One more breath. Okay, so let's exhale. And now let that right foot come off the leg, but leave it out to the side. Mm -hmm. Now bend the left leg and then step the right foot down. And then step the left foot back. And here we have warrior two. Put the palms down. Yes, breathe in. Exhale, bring the hands to the side and lift that left arm up. Bring the right hand behind us. Maybe the back of that right hand comes to that left hip and we'll reach up and we'll ground down into that right foot, bending that right knee nice, you guys. A bind, heart opening position, breathe in. And now exhale, let that right hand come down towards the foot. So bring it on the inside of that right leg. The right hand hovers, the left arm reaches for sky. Let's exhale, bring our arms out again, warrior two. Yeah. And now bring the hands to the hips. Keep that right foot aimed the way it is. Let's walk that left leg towards that right foot. Walk it, walk it, walk it, walk it. The right foot's turned out. And now drag the right toe across the earth and then we have our tree pose. And rise. Exhale. I'm gonna rescue my dog to go outside. Grounding into tree. That right hip open. Uh-huh. Breathe in. Around. Any variation with the arms, anywhere that they might want to be, maybe they're on the hips, maybe they're somewhere else. Let's exhale, slide that foot down the leg, and then bring that knee back to the middle and ground. Shake out the legs, maybe you bring them wide and you kind of sway side to side. Swing the hips around. Yeah, let's exhale, step it wide. Here, wide legged forward fold stance. We're gonna pivot that left foot towards the front. Let's come into warrior two for just a breath, bending the knee, opening up the arms. And then exhale, hands come down to the middle, shoulders roll back, feet back towards the long edge. Let's step our feet together and ground. So on that left hip open, we're gonna come on the Ball the right foot or coming onto the right foot, toe the left and open up the leg. And then bring that foot into tree. Variation with the arms. Nice, really nice, guys. Yes. Now let's bring that foot off the thigh, bring that leg out to the side so it kind of hangs like dangle, like we're a marionette. Now exhale, lower that foot down, toes point towards the long edge, and now bring that right leg back, back, back. Open up the feet, 
Bend that front knee, warrior two. Inhale. And then exhale, bring that right hand behind the back, over to that hip, left arm up to the sky. Inhale. Exhale. Exhale, arms come out wide. That left hand reaches down now. Right arm to the sky. You bring that right hand behind the back to that left hip with that left arm hovering. Come back up to the sky with that right arm. Exhale, arms come out, reaching for the short edges of the mat. Pivot that right foot towards the front. Straighten that left leg as much as you need. That right foot getting closer and closer and closer. The left foot facing the short edge. And now bring the hands to the hips. Here we are in tree again. <sighs> Grounding after this warrior, connecting to the earth. Any variation with the arms, any variation with the hands. Let's exhale, bring that knee forward, slide the foot down to the earth. Tadasana, mountain pose. Really nice, guys. And ground. Breathe in. Exhale, let the hands come to the side, hinge at the waist, fold forward, Uttanasana. Lower down into a ball. So when you get into that ball, Bending those knees down, walk the hands behind you, coming into a seat, and then lift the heels, walk the hands back, and roll on your back. <sighs> Maybe it's more of a plop. It's those little things that little kids make look so easy, but sometimes ours is a little less graceful. Come on to the back. And when you get to that back, you rock side to side. Arms come above the head, any variation. Let's lower the feet. And then if your, if your bolster is handy, bring that bolster underneath the knees. You're welcome to just come into Shavasana. Bring a blanket, cover yourself with a blanket. But that bolster under the knees might be a really nice touch after our hip opening. Kind of that subtle indication to the body that we're supported. Rest the head, rest the back. And rest your soul. This past week has been a long one, but we're here and we did it. We'll just rest. Maybe you find that with that bolster under the knees, it feels kind of sweet and kind of nice to just bring the heels together and let the knees come out wide with that bolster there to support the knees. So it's kind of like a butterfly on your back, but it's not quite, but kind of just a little, and it's just a different sensation of rest.
letting the eyes fall into the back of the head, the back of the head rest into Mother Earth. Allowing the face to relax. Relax the top of the head, and behind the ears, back of the neck and the throat as well. On an exhale, sink your legs long if the feet were together. Let those legs kind of stretch. Uh-huh. Okay. Now you're welcome to rest your legs in a bolster for the remainder of class if you'd like to roll up and rise up to a seated position. Then we'll close with some pranayama and a silent sit. Yeah, socks, cardigans, vests. Oh, it's so nice. So in the idea of balancing our chakras and joining our chakras, just practice our Nadi Shodhana for however long that feels right for you. We'll be here for about three more minutes, purifying our nerves on the physical level, purifying our nadis on the subtle level, uniting the sides of our body and ultimately the polarities of our being with our nadis showed on our
Mm-hmm. 